Today I'm going to show you how to create your ROAS in MyAPNIC. To start using resource certification, you need to activate your RPKI engine in MyAPNIC. To do that, firstly log in to MyAPNIC. Make sure you have two-factor authentication enabled. Once logged in, go to Resources Manager and then Resources tab. Click on the RPKI under Resource Certification. Choose the first option if you would like to operate in the MyAPNIC RPKI portal. After selecting this option, you will be taken to the Terms and Conditions. Please read them carefully and if you agree to the conditions, Please accept by clicking the large green acceptance button at the bottom of the page. With that, your RPKI engine will be activated. This is required to request and receive your resource certificate from APNIC and create your ROA or root origin authorization objects in MyAPNIC. Once the service is activated, it is available to all MyAPNIC users from your account with the resource certification privilege. By default, all corporate and technical contacts of an account have RPKI permission enabled in MyAPNIC. To use RPKI, you must also enable two-factor authentication in MyAPNIC as was shown earlier. If you do not use two-factor authentication in MyAPNIC, you can find out more on how to enable it by visiting www.apnic.net forward slash 2FA. As you can see now, the RPKI engine has been activated and you can see the resources in this account. Now, let's create your rowers. Go to the Resources tab, choose Routes under Route Management and then click on Add New. You will then see the route template which you will need to complete. In the prefix field, add the IP prefix you are advertising in CIDR notation. In the origin AS field, add the ASN you have authorised to announce your IP prefix. The max length field is where you specify the smallest subroute or subaggregate announcement your rower will cover. Please note that if you advertise a longer prefix than this max length, it will be seen as invalid to anyone doing root origin validation. Selecting the ROA checkbox allows you to create the ROA. Enabling WHOIS allows you to create root or root 6 objects in the APNIC WHOIS database along with your ROA. If you select this option, the distance between the max length and prefix length must be 8 bits or less. For example, if you have a slash 32 IPv6 prefix, and not to enable the WHOIS option, then your max length is limited to slash 40. This limit does not apply if you only select the ROA option. When a route is created using an origin ASN that is not managed under your APNIC account, an automatic email is sent to the ASN custodian notifying them about the route creation. With the Notify Additional Contacts checkbox selected, you can send the route creation notification to any other party that you wish to inform. Multiple email contacts can be included by separating them with commas or spaces. Once you click Next, you can review the subroutes. Deselect any subroutes that are not required and then click Submit to complete the process. Once you have created your ROA, APNIC system will publish your ROA into the APNIC RPKI repository. You can also view all the existing routes you have created on this page. The APNIC RPKI repository gets updated within 20 minutes. However, relying parties fetch from APNIC's repository on different schedules. It may take up to four hours for a change to APNIC's repository to be fetched and processed by all relying parties. And that's it! If you have any questions or would like further assistance in creating your rowers, 
please contact the APNIC Help Desk by visiting help.apnic.net. Thanks for creating your rowers and helping strengthen routing security.